Megan Biffert and welcome to another art book review. Today I'm sharing with you Color First Ink Later by Mike Daikubara. Um, this book just came out January of 2022 as part of the Urban Sketching Handbook series. And Mike is a wonderful, talented, enthusiastic ink and watercolor urban sketcher and artist. And in this book, what's really cool about this book is it is all about this process that he developed where he adds the watercolor first onto the page and then all the details and refinement come later. Um, and it produces these very lively, energetic sketches, maybe a very different sketch process than a lot of us use. And he spends this whole book detailing how to do it in a very clear, practical way. And I'm gonna show you some peeks inside. So the whole book is broken down into these sections. He shares the techniques, approach and overview, step-by-step um, -step processes, and then there's a gallery of photos at the end. And one of the things I love about the technique section is he's so clear. So what he does is he breaks this whole process of how to sketch down into five or six steps. There's an optional one in there. And then as he details and describes them, he shows you where you're at in each process and shares tips, or supplies that he uses, um, helpful hints at this stage of the process. And so as you go through the book, he explains each step in detail so that you know very clearly what to do, which I think is genius. And then after he walks you through this kind of sketch process, he shares um, an overview where he gives specific examples of his own sketches and how he applies each of those steps. And so what's fun is these pictures are taken from live sketches he actually did while urban sketching, and he breaks them down into each of those phases that he shared earlier. And he shows what tools are used, describes how long each phase took. In the book, he was saying that he really tries to keep his sketch time no longer than an hour or 45 minutes to keep this very lively, energetic, loose, sketch look and so he shares how long each phase takes what supplies he uses reference photos so you can see here he shows the total time the sketch took and then walks you through each of the steps and phases to create that sketch really cool and he shares multiple example sketches of that in here i think there's like four or five different examples you can see and then step-by-step -step process he does a deep dive into color he shares how he arranges his paints in color buckets, how he chooses what paints and colors to use at different times, how to apply them. And then the last part of the book is tips and a gallery of photos. So he goes through a couple of different tips, for example, how do you sketch like a brick technique or technique, a brick texture or skies or trees or something like that. And then the last few pages of the book is filled with beautiful examples of his sketches that he created using this process. And so if you're into urban sketching or ink and watercolor sketching, this book is so cool because if this isn't the process that you follow, which most people I know don't, it's a really good challenge and kind of exciting to try. I've already tried it a little bit where you add the watercolor first and then follow the rest of his steps to refine it, to kind of start at this phase and refine it down to a sketch like this. And it's challenging, but you learn a lot and it makes your mind look at subjects and color in a totally different way. So I highly recommend this book if you enjoy sketching, would like to try a new way of mixing things up and enjoying a sketch process differently. It's very clear, he's so good at breaking down the steps and making it very doable for you even if you've never done it. It's almost like he's there with you, teaching you the process by your side. So if that sounds at all interesting, I highly suggest you go check out this book. Mm -hmm.